What are we doing today? This is the bullcrap for today. We're reacting to Totally Obsessed. If you don't know what that is, it's basically like yesterday's stream where people are obsessed with weird crap. Uh, today we got Cabbage Patch Kid, Pac-Man, Peter Pan, and, Tur and Ninja Turtle. All right, first one, totally obsessed, Cabbage Patch. That's what we're doing. Ever been to Leonardtown, Maryland? Me neither. We adopted Kevin in 1985. With every kid that you adopt. That's scary. You love them and be the best parent and, and, you know, and take care of this child. This is my favorite little kid, Kevin. He's easygoing. Oh my gosh. Quiet. Quiet. Behaved. Well behaved. Meet Pat and Joe Pro. Oh my gosh. They are raising a cabbage patch kid. Is he high on weed? Look at his face. Look at that crap. He looks baked. Absolutely cooked. Okay, Kevin. SpongeBob. Tonight. Oh, I've seen this. I don't know if I have yet. I gotta watch it for a little bit to see. They talk. They 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 talk for the thing. They talk for. I can't even. I can't even say they talk to the kid. That's not a kid. It's a doll. And uh, how many outfits do you think they have picked out for that thing? Do you think it's like twenty? Twenty different outfits that they wash themselves. He's very easy to get to know. Kevin, my name's Kevin. When you're talking to the person, you're really looking at the Cabbage Patch Kid, carrying on a conversation. Yeah. Wait, they have friends? They actually have friends? Cute, cute. am I cute? Right. Look, give us a break. Yeah, all right. Down that way, Dad, let's go. Okay, hold Have on. it drive, make it drive. See how well it does. Rosie always wants. He likes to do a lot of things with his father. I think all boys probably like doing things with their father. He does love fishing. We have a pond nope. on the farm here where we live. And uh, he goes down there on nice days. Mm -mm. And I'll sit down there and he'll fish. He'll fish. Is he going to catch a freaking tuna? All right, you sit up here. I, oh, oh, that'd be hilarious if it just falls off and it just, he drops in and he's like, no, Kevin, Kevin. And he's doing like CPR on the thing. He doesn't care. His own 1,000 square foot playhouse, a college fund, oh yeah, and a real life sister. Oh my gosh, no, 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 no shot, bro. That's some bull crap. Nah, they have an actual kid. Oh, that would make me feel like I am not loved by my parents if I'm ditched for a Cabbage Patch kid. Bro, every time I say Cabbage Patch Kid, I'm, I always feel like I'm, I'm about to say Sour Patch Kid. I didn't appreciate, you know, this kid coming along. Who would? And, you know, taking my stuff. Of course, she had her own room that she went to, but I, there could have been some jealousy, maybe. He's got a dog. I'm thinking, I couldn't have a dog. He has a dog. <laughs> the dog has a... If, 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 okay, if my parents were mentally insane like these people and they bring home a doll saying it's my brother, I'm grabbing that thing. I'm, hey, mom! Hey, mom! I'm, I'm, st I'm getting that thing. Getting a knot. I'm getting a, a rope. I'm get hey, mom! Hey, mom! Sleep tight. What a great kid and so well behaved. I can see why they're so crazy about him. Uh, that's just. Mm, yeah, if I was if I was a real kid, I would definitely feel like they hate, my parents hate me for sure. We're moving on to obsessed Pac-Man. Yeah, there's a dude obsessed with Pac-Man. I think I've seen this video before, but it's been a while and I kind of forgot it. Meet Tim Christ, a oh man gosh. obsessed with Pac-Man. Hmm? Oh my gosh! After all this time, he's still there. He's still yellow. He's still perfectly round. He's still eating things. I feel as if his glowing light is always protecting me and guiding me and making all my enemies blue and edible. If I was in a dark alleyway and this thing and this thing starts chase and this thing is coming for me, just walking slowly, no weapons. He could he could probably take me with this holy Pac-Man strength or whatever. That thing starts walking to me. See ya. I'll see ya later, bud. For the past 20 years, Tim's life has been consumed by Pac-Man. 
If you've never played Pac-Man before, it's a little something like this. That's creepy, huh? A little Pac-Man feeling when I get the impression that he may be nearby. And there he'll be. You can spidey you know, sense Pac-Man. Just... <laughs> oh my gosh. The drill will be there. And be reaching his pocket. Oh, he has friends too. All, all the weird people have friends. Every, okay. Here's something that'll cheer you up if you're ever sad. You know, if you don't have friends, you can easily make a friend. Like, look at these people. There are people who adopt Cabbage Patch kids and think of it as their real kid. And then there's this fricker addicted to Pac Man. You can get a friend. It's not that hard for you. If these people can do it, you can do it. Hello. How are you? Might I perhaps ask you for some quarters that I may offer them to the great yellow one? The great yellow one. This is really hard on the buttons. I feel bad for the machine. You know? Thank God I'm not a Pac-Man machine. Right, right. No, don't. Okay. <laughs> you know, I should destroy you with my Pac-Man now. <laughs> Tim has spent ten thousand dollars in quarters alone playing every day on his lunch break. Oh my yeah, god. Possessed. Yeah, he's possessed. Yeah. Possessed. <laughs> in spite of playing Pac-Man since he was seven years old, Tim has yet to master the game. I bet you he burnt down that whole place after that. He grabbed he he grabbed that whole Pac-Man machine. Walked out like nothing happened. Put it on one arm, grabbed the match, went, lit it, threw it back, and then the whole place just lit up on fire. In 2001, Tim put his passion for Pac Man to music in a song called Pac Man is Naked and So Should You. Can I skip the video? Can we just move on to like the Ninja Turtle one or something? This is some utter bull crap. What is this? I'm about to listen to a grown man sing about Pac-Man. And the song's name is Pac-Man is Naked and So Should You. Are you ready for Batman? Oh. It's time to go! What's wrong with you? Tim, Tim, what's wrong with you? The best way to Pac-Man is to use the game! You move the joystick and you eat the dot! There should be counselors involved. Uh-huh. Sometimes, you just gotta bring the message to the people. Occasionally, I'll be driving He's around... He's got a megaphone. What's he doing? Look like he is What's he doing? ...to Pac-Man into his life, and I feel the need to, you know, convey to him somehow that he really should. Pac-Man! 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 Lest the public forget about Pac-Man, Pac his... Tim goes out every week to his steering wheel is Pac-Man. Oh my gosh. He won't rest until the world shares his enthusiasm for Pac-Man. Before Pac-Man, feel his glory! Feel the glory of Pac-Man! See Pac-Man! Oh. See Pac-Man! I think these people are going to look back on their lives. They're going to be lying on their deathbed thinking, my God, I have squandered my life. Think of all the times I played things that weren't Pac-Man. Say Pac-Man! Say Pac-Man! And now it's too late. Pac-Man! These people think he's on drugs. They think he's a druggie. <laughs> In a very disturbing way, it's adorable. <laughs> what was that? I I hope. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna be sleeping. I'm gonna be sleeping at night. I'm gonna be sleeping at night. I'm gonna wake up. I'm gonna be like, I can't move. I'm stuck. I look at the foot of my bed. What's there? Pac-Man, dude. Okay. Sir, please, leave me alone. Leave me alone. And then he's gonna tackle me. And I'm gonna wake up and I'll be like... <laughs> it was a dream. Ha! Dog! That was a reaction. That was quite the reaction, I'll tell you that.